Hello everyone, welcome back to the Easy Channel. In this video, we will show you how to map your Shopee products with your Odoo Master products. This means we want to link your Shopee products that you're selling online with the products in Odoo. You need to map your products because whenever an order takes place in Shopee, it will automatically create a sales order in Odoo with the correct product lines and correctly reduce the stock. So let's see how to map your products in Odoo. I'm in the front page of Odoo where I will click on the Easy Marketplace module. Then I'll click on the Shopee shop that I want to map my products in. You can see here by clicking on the MP products, I've already gotten my marketplace products from Shopee to Odoo, which I've shown in a different video that you can check out if you haven't seen it yet. Now, in order for you to link these products with your products in Odoo, you will need to first create the same products in Odoo as the products in the Shopee marketplace. So first I will go to my inventory. I've already created some, but not all of my products in Odoo. If I click on one, you can see the name, price, and internal reference, which should be the same as the one in the marketplace. I am also selling this particular product in Tokopedia, and have already mapped this product in Tokopedia, but not in Shopee yet. This product is one without variance, and it is not sold in my Tokopedia shop. That's why there is no Tokopedia Marketplace listed here. Once you've created your products in Odoo, we can start mapping the products. Let's go back to the Shopee Marketplace account and click on the Map Products button. Here you can see the product field, which is the data in Odoo, and the MP product field, which is the data from your Marketplace product, and this one is from your Marketplace product variants. Here we want to link the products in Odoo with the Shopee Marketplace products. Your products will be mapped if any of these lines are the same. So if the internal reference of your product in Odoo is the same as the internal reference in the marketplace products or the marketplace product variants, the product will be mapped. You can edit and add more fields that you think can link the marketplace data with Odoo. Once you've set this up, click save and then start mapping. Here, two buttons will appear, unmapped and mapped. Let's look at the mapped products, and you'll see that the products that I have created in Odoo is mapped with the Marketplace products. Their names or internal reference are the same. Even if your name is different, but your internal reference is the same, the product will be mapped. Sometimes the names in your backend Odoo is different than the ones in the Marketplace. Therefore, it is better to have the internal reference being the same. One of my mapped products here is the chocolate cookie. When I check my chocolate cookies in my inventory, now you will see Shopee as one of the marketplaces this product is being sold at. When we look at the unmapped lines, you will see all these marketplace products that have not been mapped yet. This is because no data was found in Odoo for these marketplace products. Let's create this adapter product in Odoo and see how to map this unmapped product. Make sure the internal reference is the same. I will also see the price of my product in Shopee. And then click save. I'm also going to create one of my unmapped products, which is Basmati Rice. This product has variants, which I will add in the variants tab. Then I'll click on Variants and add each of their internal reference. If the prices are different for each variant, you can add additional prices by clicking on the Configure Variants, then Edit, and input the difference in price on one of the products. Now to map the unmapped products that you just created in Odoo, let's go back to the unmapped lines. Now you can either manually find the product by clicking on the product and inputting the name or internal reference of the product. And if you go back to unmapped again, the adapter product isn't here anymore. If you click on the mapped products, you will see the adapter here. Another way to map the products you just created is by clicking on the Generate Mapping. Once you click on it, you will see here that the Basmati rice isn't in the unmapped anymore. 
the basmati rice is now in the map. If you click on data mapping and then product mapping lines, you can see all of your mapped and unmapped products. You can filter the marketplace, also the mapped and unmapped products, and rearrange the active products and non-active products. You want to prioritize mapping the active products so that whenever a customer orders online, your product lines in the sales order in Odoo will be correct. And that is all for this video. I hope this video helps in understanding about mapping products. Thank you for watching and have a great day!